dignitary in the dais. The topic of my presentation is challenges and changes in pediatric corneal disorders. Coming to, uh, coming to the view anatomy and optical uh, aspect of cornea, cornea as we know it is anterior one sixth of the eyeball, it is prolate uh, shaped uh, of the normal cornea, it has, uh, has a smooth brilliant surface having no blood vessel but richly supplied with nerve uh, fibers and central corneal thickness is 0.52 millimeter and peripheral is 0.67 millimeter. It has two functions, optical and protective central 5 millimeter of the cornea, the most refractive medium of the eye, the refractive power is 45 diopter which is the three-fourth of the total refractive power of the eye and refractive index is 1.376. The extreme sensitivity of the cornea is an efficient protective mechanism producing a very quick lead reflex. Coming to the topography, the anterior surface of the cornea is elliptical and posterior surface is spherical. The average diameter is 11.5 mm, horizontal being 11.7 and vertical is 11 mm. Horizontal diameter is of clinical importance. If it is less than 10 mm, we say it is microcornea. If it is more than 13 mm, we say it is megalocornea or macrocornea. Uh, the radius of curvature is 7.8 millimeter. Coming to the topography is the uniform central corneal power with regular content while flattening towards the periphery. Often we find asymmetrical bow tie. Uh, this is an indication of natural astigmatism. These are few abnormal topography of the few diseases of the cornea. Then coming to the morbidity and mortality, morbidity of corneal disorder, it is mainly due to opaque cornea and associated problem in the form, form of amblyopia, which is most common. You have heard Dr. Asina was speaking about that. Then it is followed by cataract, glaucoma, and sometimes congenital and acquired eye closure, which is a rare phenomena. The mortality is due to uh, systemic involvement in syndromes and uh, cardiac, uh, mainly due to cardiac anomalies. Then coming to the disease proper, that is corneal disorders, can be divided into congenital and acquired congenital uh, Popularly, the acronym is STUMPT. Everyone is uh, acquainted about the STUMPT. I am not going to speak about that. Acquired is uh, traumatic or non-traumatic. Non-traumatic, again, of infective, melting, or degenerative type. The management is either medical or surgical. Medical management includes drugs, various drugs, as uh, in case of uh, corneal infection, dry eye, etc. And uh, contact lens for the refractive changes or some superficial corneal opacity and corneal collagen cross-linking and the progressive keratoconus. Keratoplasty is indicated in all types of congenital corneal clouding that is stumped and advanced stage of acquired uh, diseases. Then imaging study when you go it is the slit lump by microscopy is the uh, common one which we do which is best conducted for children by handheld slit lamp microscope ophthalmoscopy ultrasonography is uh, done to assess the ocular abnormality in presence of opaque cornea pachymetry is performed to know the corneal thickness and anterior segment OCD as a very recent thing it is uh, done for the anterior segment evaluation as a whole ultrasound by microscopy is helpful to evaluate the anterior segment in presence of opaque cornea and finally the electrophysiological evolution to give the prognosis to the patient. Systemic uh, imaging studies include hearing test, echocardiography, CT scanning and MRI whenever indicated. Uh, as I said, stumped, the dermide is a part of stumped. The uh, surgery is surgery is uh, uh, in not indicated in all types of dermite when it is cosmetically required it is indicated if it is having irritative symptom 
uh, if it is associated with poor vision causing exposure which is a rare case even a big dermoid also does not cause any exposure or any associated dryness or it is associated with diplopia in then only you have to do the surgery and depending upon the size and depth you have to decide how you are going to the, uh, do the wound closure here you have seen the corneoscleral patch was given then comes the corneal clouding it is another part of the stunt so metabolic uh, coming to the metabolic one corneal clouding as you see in case of uh, mucopolysaccharides 1 6 and 7 you get the corneal lesion but not in mps 2 the second one is endothelial dystrophy so surgery is required for that then another problem is corneal clouding with glaucoma is it running yeah uh, so what to do first you have to take care of the glaucoma then in the second sitting you have to go for the keratoplasty as you are seeing in this video in the first stage you do the glaucoma surgery uh, one thing you just see here that i am uh, just checking the cornea because it is pediatric cornea so usually we take a young donor this is a newborn baby cornea which i have used whatever may be the outcome of pediatric keratoplasty is always suboptimal why it is so the factors responsible are the pediatric eye is a small and rapidly growing eye the corneal dimension are small it has a shallow anterior chamber have low scleral rigidity pediatric eye is a reactive eye because of quick quick healing suture related problem are more and more importantly is the visual development then what decision we have to take when to do surgery it is the age as early as possible you have to do the surgery and followed by amblyopia therapy vigorous amblyopia therapy when not to do if there is presence of dense amblyopia or associated pathology threatening graft failure or visual outcome more importantly if there is poor parental motivation and poor socio economic status so that the patient cannot come for the follow up then you don't do any surgery few words about the ulcer the frequent ulcers are bacterial and uh, viral less frequent is fungal rare is acanthoma special attention you have to give always you give the precaution not to develop the ulcer if there is minor ailment you do the therapy uh, you treat those eyes when treated more energetic therapy you have to have proper drug selection because some drugs are hazardous to pediatric eye uh, as the uh, compliance is poor in children subcontinental injection can be given and systemic drug is a must a few word about the keratoconus it is non inflammatory thinning of the cornea with irregular astigmatism and myopia and ectasia and it is aggravated by vernal keratoconjunctivitis it is in early stage you can treat with spectacle if not then contact lens the progressive keratoconus can be treated with um, collagen cross linking either alone or along with the um, intracorneal ring if everything fails corneal transplant is the only answer then what are the challenges we face in pediatric corneal disorder that is keratomalacia treatment infection treatment and pediatric keratoplasty the changes what has been occurring during course of time is the imaging study and uh, like ubm anterior segment uh, uh, um, sorry and anterior segment uh, and the various drugs have been uh, installed and uh, surgery for keratoconus as i said it is the collagen cross linking and dark so to conclude the early recognition and management uh, of the disease is a must early rehabilitation is uh, required or mandatory and it is always required teamwork between ophthalmologist pediatrician genetic corneal specialist pediatric ophthalmologist pediatric contact lens specialist low vision specialist and uh, cooperation of parents cannot be over emphasized thank you for your kind and for your kind.